We're out here today about to go build a brand new artificial reef at Eugene Island, Block 51. It's a very popular, famous old speckled trout hotspot uh, where platforms used to exist, but those platforms had been removed. And so we're going out and replacing that lost habitat today using recycled materials with our partners from Chevron, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, Road Rock Recycling, and DLS Energy. TCA is a way of life. It is, it is uh, a way for us to preserve and conserve our marine resources here in Louisiana. Uh, there's people out there that will take the last fish, the last bit of habitat out of the water if we let them. And CCA is here to ensure that that never happens, that we always have uh, an abundant and um, you know, and thriving resource for future generations to enjoy. I've been the executive director of CCA for 15 years. I'm really proud to be out here today with a big group of volunteers who, who really helped to initiate this, this whole concept of replacing oil and gas platforms that are removed. You know, we talked to our members all around the state of Louisiana. We have 20,000 members. One of the issues they're most concerned with is the loss of this habitat when oil and gas platforms are removed. It's incredibly good and prolific habitat. And so when a platform is removed, you lose that habitat. And if there's not a plan to replace it, then it's just it's just habitat we'll never have again. And so CCA and all these volunteers and our founders here today and partners like Chevron and Wildlife and Fisheries uh, decided to do something about it. And we came together on projects like this one and we're, we're putting down material to replace uh, that, that lost habitat. You got to get off the sideline. You got to get involved with an organization like CCA. There is nobody else doing what CCA does, working day in, day out to protect our coastal resources, to uh, you know, to fight for better management, to rebuild habitat on our coast. Nobody else is doing that. It's extremely important. Um, we had a lot of great habitat when there was a lot of oil rigs out there, and over the years a lot of them have been removed. And so putting that habitat is back is important for the ecosystem, for the fisheries, for the fishermen, and for the future generations of fishermen. This is a great event. This is a, a, a great uh, partnership with Chevron and Wildlife and Fisheries and all our other partners to, to create fishing habitat for future generations. Pretty neat to watch all the materials go in the water and to see all the people come together today to go and celebrate this event out here. It's uh, this place that we're deploying the reef today was an extremely awesome fishing spot. Um, it's probably one of the best in the Gulf of Mexico for speckled trout. Um, there was a lot of fish there caught for a lot of years and uh, and growing up, we spent a lot of time fishing out there, and we're looking forward to get back, getting back to fishing there with the new reef. Today, we're going to actually be deploying um, some of the material to rebuild the Eugene Island 51 site. So historically, there was an oil and gas platform there. Uh, it was removed several years ago, which was really disappointing to a lot of the recreational fishermen in this region, particularly the whole Acadiana area. Um, there was a kind of a, everybody was a little upset when all that happened and then to CCA's credit uh, they built a program called the Reef Club and a lot of uh, volunteers came together and started identifying particular sites that were historically fantastic trout fishing sites and uh, they prioritized those obviously Eugene Island 51 being a uh, almost almost famous maybe even notorious uh, from a lot of anglers and so today we're going to go back out and put some material out at that same site and uh, with the anticipation that it'll become a thriving place to catch speckled trout uh, long into the future. Let's join CCA. Um, this is what being a membership of this organization is really all about, restoring the habitat. You know, a lot of times we take a lot of the habitat that's good for uh, places that we enjoy fishing and that are good for the marine ecosystem for granted and uh, then when it's gone you miss it. And so an organization like CCA um, focuses on making sure the habitat is there for generations to come. And um, it all starts with membership, grassroots membership. You know, this program started with a collection of different anglers getting together, identifying sites that were traditionally really good fishing sites. And uh, some of those sites were still in place, some of those were gone, but as the oil and gas industry uh, starts to evolve, some of those sites are going to come out. And um, what we want to do is give some of those companies the ability to reef them, some of the ones that are there, reef them in place, and the ones that are gone find a way like today to bring something back out and put at those sites. Excitement. Uh, this is one of many. You know, uh, when we started, I've actually been the beneficiary, so CCA a few years ago built a reef in honor of my, my father-in-law. And he kind of is the one who poked at me to get a lot of this stuff going and say, if you want to do something meaningful, go and 
and, and rebuild reefs at these sites and these oil and gas platforms that have been removed. And that really is what spawned a lot of this discussion many, many years ago. And since then, we probably have about 900 sites identified across the coast. And CCA is systematically and methodically going about trying to get those sites constructed. So it's really exciting times. Uh, this is uh, not the beginning. It's not the end. It's probably borderline middle, but we've got a long ways to go. And uh, you know, more people can get behind us like Chevron and different uh, major donors to help get this put together, uh, we can build more of them each year. So it's, it's exciting. We're one of the premier destinations for, for fishing um, for speckled trout. And, and so it's not, these, this reef program is not limited just to speckled trout. There's also a little bit deeper in uh, snapper waters. So for Louisiana, we are the sportsman's paradise. And CCA is the conservation organization that really looks out for the habitat as well as the anglers. And um, this is important to Louisiana because, you know, we, we depend on these places to fish. Everybody loves to go fishing offshore. And um, what happens when you have no place else to go? And so this is an opportunity to have a destination. It'll be made public. Everybody will get a chance to fish it. And um, I think that's what makes this state so great and this organization so great. Well, what'll happen, what we anticipate will happen. So historically, those platforms were there a long time and they developed their own marine ecosystem around themselves with different predator fish and prey fish and kind of it was a, a marine ecosystem that was just all of a sudden, just like that, removed. So now that we put these sites out, it'll take a little time, but you'll get barnacles and different algae and just different um, aquatic life that'll start to colonize on these sites. And then eventually with that come the predator fish and the prey fish and the whole new ecosystem will be will establish in that same site. We are building habitat on the coast for future generations. This is something we have started to work on for years ago when I was chair of natural resources. It's an unbelievable project because we have to leave another sustainable resource for future generations to be able to fish. And both of my boys, unfortunately they couldn't be here today, they love to fish. Uh, this is a place that's very near and dear to my heart, Eugene Island. Uh, David probably doesn't even know this. My grandfather moved to camp from Lake Fos Point 40 years ago to Sippamore Point. And not to mention where they're going to put the reef today. My grandfather was the foreman of Kerr McGee when they struck oil on the first out of sight, out of land, I'm sorry, out of sight of land in the Gulf of Mexico, which has always made me a strong oil and gas. So both grandfathers, I have a huge history here. We have to support CCA and support Chevron and support the people that absolutely support this. And you know, it, this is for the fishermen. This is for tomorrow. And so we have to make sure that we continue to take care of tomorrow's fishermen. It's extremely important for Louisiana. We're the sportsman's paradise. And people come here, that's a tax base. People come here to fish and hunt. And this is extremely important for Louisiana. If you look at wildlife and fisheries and license fees, I mean, they're a self-sustaining department. And so therefore it's extremely important to make sure that People have some place to go to enjoy the outdoors of Louisiana. It's a phenomenal organization and it's something that everybody needs to take part of if you want to continue to be able to fish in the great waters of Louisiana. Supporting them absolutely supports the future. Take a look at the construction of our newest habitat project which is at Eugene Island Block 51. This is a popular fishing area out of Sippermore Point where Oil field platforms have been removed that were previously serving both as habitat and a fishing destination. So we're replacing that with, with hard service habitat here. We're using recycled concrete pilings and pipeline weights. Approximately 500 pieces will be placed on a four acre permitted area in Eugene Island Block 51. So we create this, this fisheries habitat that's been lost. CCA is my passion. I grew up fishing on the coast of Louisiana, south of Homa, as a young child. And over the years, I've seen our coastline deteriorate. I've seen our habitat go away. So as a sportsman and a conservation, I, I felt it was my duty to step up and do something about it. So we're here today replacing this lost habitat one site at a time. 
we've done approximately 40 of these projects in the last 20 years, and we're going to continue. This is an ongoing program. We have, have all our pieces in place here, and our, our partners make this happen. Of course, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries does our permitting, technical work, oversight, and manages the projects after they're finished. This becomes part of their inventory of artificial reefs. And then our corporate sponsors that we could not do this without. Chevron, our major sponsor here today. DLS Energy right here in the port of West St. Mary is doing our construction. And Road Rock Recycling out of Scott, Louisiana is providing the material and logistics for this. So all of this comes together today and we're going to get to see this concrete deployed out of this site to create this new fisheries habitat and it's very exciting. If you like to fish, get involved. Do something, give back to the resources, because if you don't take care of the resources, they're not going to be here for our future generations. So for more information, please visit our website, ccalouisiana.com. It's always so satisfying to see one of these projects come together. Even though we've done almost 40 of these in the last 20 years, everyone is, is like Christmas morning. It, it's, it's, like, it's like a new day for, for our coastline, for our resources, for our habitats, and for our fisheries. Uh, I'm on the state governmental relations team for Chevron. Great. Can you tell us what we're doing here today? Sure. And, and so we are laying down an artificial reef, uh, both conserving and, and right um, adding habitat to Louisiana's coastline. It's important for Chevron and the, and the partnership between Chevron and Louisiana Coastal Conservation Association is of the utmost importance to us. So we recognize that Louisiana is one of America's greatest assets and the coastline of Louisiana and offshore Louisiana is one of Louisiana's greatest assets. And so we're very proud to have a partnership with CCA in doing artificial reefs and kind of protecting that. We have, we have so many Chevron workers and oil and gas workers that live here and play here with their families. And it's very important for us to help um, you know, conserve those resources. And so we're, we're a very proud partner. Look at what we're doing. Um, it's great and we love Louisiana. I think that this program that we're a part of, very proud to be a part of, is a great program. I, I think it has significant importance to people who fish around Louisiana and the families that live and play around here. And, and I think that, you know, Louisiana being such a great asset and our coastline being such a great asset to Louisiana, we're very proud to be a part of it. So I've been a member of CCA for a very long time and I, and I grew up fishing the coast of Louisiana out of Grand Isle, Louisiana. And as soon as I heard of GCCA, which was the predecessor the CCA, my family and I joined, and we've always been we've always been big supporters, and have really loved what they've done for the fisheries in Louisiana. I've been a part of CCA my entire life. So I remember being a child and getting Tide magazine would come in our mailbox, and we read. Probably when I was 18 or 20, I joined myself, and I've been a member ever since. And um, play a role in the legislative fishing rodeo and, and all all things CCA. We're just a super proud personal member and really proud that Chevron is, a, is the member that it is. Super excited. So this is my second artificial reef kind of deployment. And so, you know, this one's a great one. The first one we did in Grand Isle, Louisiana, which is kind of home to me where I grew up fishing. But such a such a great investment in Louisiana to to you know, replace where, where there were rigs, which created marine habitat, and for us to come in afterwards and create new marine habitat for kids like me, like younger kids and my kids, to grow up to be able to fish Louisiana and enjoy it the way that I have. That's a splash. Yeah, that's a splash, but that's a rock right there. <laughs>